What's up, Airsofters? We're back in the studio again with Tim from Chris USA with an all new Crytac product. This is the Crytac Trident Mark II PDWM AEG. Good job. Thank you. It's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so this not only looks really cool, but adds on to an existing amazing AEG platform. Right. Um, they've updated a couple features and um, have really elevated this to uh, an all new class of its own. But starting off, let's talk about like the history of the Trident program and the AEG that is so popular today. Well, the Trident series, the first one, the Mark I, was really kind of a, a response to how we saw the airsoft market kind of changing. You know, we, we saw the demand and really the, the need for a gun that performed way better out of the box right. than what was, you know, on the market, you know, five, six years ago. So that's where the Trident started. And obviously with the new Mark II and the new M-Lock versions of the guns, we've just kept incrementally increasing, you know, that, that bar of, you know, an out-of-the-box gun that performs, you know, the way that you would expect it to, uh, the way that you would expect a high-end AEG to perform. And so this is kind of the, the most recent iteration of it. Now, we've had the M-Lock, you know, CRB and SPR out for a little while. This one took a little bit longer because we really wanted to emphasize and focus on the stock of the PDW and improve it from the other designs. So that's where we focused a lot of our energy. And of course, you know, the M-Lock rails are, are kind of the new standard. For those unfamiliar with the nomenclature of the Crytac lineup, the M at the end of the either the Mark II M or the SPR or PDW M uh, denotes M-Lock. So if you're looking for a specific product, uh, adding an M will usually take you to where you want to go. What I like about the PDW is you've got enough rail space or M-Lock space to add an accessory without adding too much bulk. You don't have an unusable PDW platform, so it still keeps it really compact without losing out on the attachment of accessories. Uh, full length top rail, of course, um, and they've got included um, low profile sights. These are polymer, they're extremely durable, and they hold zero on an airsoft gun. Yes. <laughs> you know, that's how that works. But let's talk a little bit about the new PDW stock. Yeah, so this is the newest version of the stock. So we kind of went back to the drawing board and made this a much more usable everyday kind of stock. So one major update that we did is that you can now deploy the stock simply by pulling it back. So you don't need to push the button to deploy yeah. it. It deploys much more quickly. Obviously to put it back in, you do need to push the button. That's how it stays secure. When you're putting it back, you've got time. Exactly. Like, but if you're deploying it, right, you yeah. need it open now. Yeah, exactly. Um, another creature comfort that we added is we removed the Allen key to access the battery compartment. So this little button on the back, simply pull it down and boom, you have access to our battery compartment, which is also much bigger than the old PDW battery compartment. So you have a lot more battery space in here, a lot more options for right. how you want to power the airsoft gun. Um, and another thing that we've added to make a lot more space in the battery compartment is the use of the airsoft t-plug so the airsoft t-plug is just as much smaller footprint than the old tamiya plug so you have a lot more space smaller plug obviously also the plug provides much better performance better efficiency for the entire electronic system so it's just a natural progression for the gun to you know, update to the T-plug. Now, for those of you who haven't seen the Crytac limited edition Alpine video, make sure you go check that one out too, because we talk about the, the wiring and some of the philosophies that Crytac is going to be implementing to their entire line, and that video is worth watching. Something I love about the stock, uh, as Tim mentioned, you know, the big problem with PDW style stocks or compact stocks in general is they don't fit Batteries. batteries very easily. And if they are very compact, getting a battery into them is often more time consuming than it's worth. So mm -hmm. the inclusion of the um, spring loaded door, uh, the quick deploying action and the added space for being able to add, you know, any size battery, well, within reason to that stock makes it uh, an incredible addition. Now, can you get this stock outside of buying just the PDW at yes. this time? Okay. Yes, you can. It is an accessory. So if you want the stock on your other Crytek, or actually on, on just about any other M4 AEG, it should bolt right on. Great. That just about does it for the external changes. Now, Crytek is one of those companies that continues to innovate and improve their internals with every subsequent model. And something they do uh, for all of their models is look for ways to improve them constantly. Why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the differences they'll see in this version if they haven't checked out a Crytac in a while, some of the incremental things that you guys have done over time, and what makes a Crytac gearbox so much different from some of the other out-of-the-box guns? Yeah, so the Trident series when it was first launched was really, the idea was to really set the bar really high as for how an Airsoft AEG gearbox should be. So we're one of the first companies to really include the MOSFET in the gearbox in a nice compact package instead of, you know, in the 
the wiring where it's kind of an afterthought. We've always used automotive fuses as opposed to the other tube type fuses. We cut little radiuses in the uh, you know the gearbox cylinder shell window, the yeah, cylinder to window, kind of yeah. reduce the stress that way. And there's a bunch of other little things like the wiring guides and stuff like that that really come from our experience playing and you know teching on airsoft guns. And so you get the same type of features in that way and we've also made changes along the way since then to materials such as the gears how the screws and the buffer tube attach and so those kind of incremental changes just add more to the reliability that you've known you know Crytek to be about. Now what does that mean for you guys? That means added value in a platform that you're not going to have to maintain overly or replace parts on or upgrade right out of the box. This is going to run and run well and comfortably uh, for the life of the gun. But let's take a look at the internals on this platform specifically. In order to take the gearbox out of the lower receiver, you'll need to remove the retractable PDW stock. You can do this by fully deploying it and pressing the release lever on the side of the battery compartment. From here, you can access the screw that you'll need to remove inside of the battery compartment. The stock can then slide off the receiver. Once all of the pins and screws that hold the gearbox in are removed from the lower receiver, the gearbox will be able to be separated from the lower. Additional gearbox features include a modular spring guide system that will allow the spring to be changed without completely disassembling the gearbox. The Crytac Trident Mark II PDWM uses the same high quality and reliable rotary style hop up. The same goes for Crytac's standard high performance 30K motor. The Crytac Trident Mark II PDWM features a reinforced 8mm ball bearing gearbox with a new integrated MOSFET that comes with a thermally pasted heatsink. This regulates electronic signals and helps to protect the trigger contacts. Seen here, Crytac's new bevel gear design, which features reinforced teeth on the lower portion. The Crytac piston is made out of a durable, lightweight polymer and features four metal teeth, with the second to last tooth absent. The cylinder head is padded with an enlarged rubber pad to optimize the angle of engagement and to absorb energy from the impact of the piston assembly. An additional feature is the all-new CNC nozzle, featuring an all-new O-ring and smooth bore down the center for better airflow. Crytac continues to be one of the industry-leading brands to set the standard for quality. All right, guys, we are outside in our outdoor testing facility. I've got the Crytac Mark II MPDW out here. First things first, let's lot off a couple rounds. Clearly, getting can-sized targets at this distance is really easy for the PDW. One thing I want to say is, despite its small size, it's really, really easy to shoulder and fire. The PDW style stock retracts easily and quick deploys when you need it to. The serrations on the stock pad make shouldering it really comfortable and it's a really stable platform because of the two metal bars that extend into the PDW receiver here, uh, as well as the ambidextrous controls making it easy for left-handers to select fire as well. Now the magazine release and the bolt latch or bolt release are not ambidextrous, but making hop-up adjustments is really easy using the locking bolt, the rotary hop-up, things like that. Other than that, personally, I think that the M-Lock hand, handguard is a little bit short because by the time you get purchase on it with your front hand, you really don't have any room for accessories. You might get a flashlight on there, but for me, I think I'd like something either with a, a vertical grip down below so that I had extra room for a flashlight uh, or just do away with it completely, throw a tracer on there and go to town. I do like the included flip up front and rear defiance or Crytek polymer backup iron sights. They're adjustable for windage and elevation. And when you have a nicely zeroed optic like this primary arms with the ACSS, this is their Cyclops red dot. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure to shoot. One other nice feature about the stock is the included single sling mount point. Great if you're using a single point sling. It can be moved to either side, depending if you want it on either side. Personally, I think I'd throw on a Picatinny QD point up front or an M-Lock QD point so that you can run a two point sling or run one that transitions back and forth. But overall, the ergonomics are really nice. It's a really compact weapon that allow you to move and pivot around corners very quickly. I think if you wanted to switch the pistol grip, you could go with something a little bit more vertical, uh, but out of the box, this is really nice. And the flat face trigger, of course, is really easy to depress, easy to find, and keeps your finger on the trigger with that undercut at the bottom there. All right, let's head to the distance test. 
Being that this is a PDW, your engagement distances might arguably be a little bit closer. So we're starting our range test out at about 25 feet. Once again, I've got 0.25 gram BBs loaded in the magazine. Let's put about 10 rounds at the target and see how well we do. Once again, we haven't cleaned the barrel, we've just set the hop. Let's see how it does. Now I think you can see from here, without even having to go over to the target, we're right in the A zone. I could hop it a little closer or a little higher for closer distances, but where I've got the optic zeroed, it's much more appropriate for 50 feet. So let's walk back a bit. We're gonna do a couple more shots here at 50 feet. This might be where you're engaging people the most often, and then we'll maybe go out another 25 feet to see how we do out there. Groupings are still pretty tight. Let's move back another 25 feet. We're all the way out here at over 75 feet, closer out to 100, but this might be the maximum engagement distance for a weapon of this size, given its short barrel profile. But let's see how it does. As you can see, making adjustments to the hop is really easy. Pull back on the charging handle, which locks the imitation bolt back. I can adjust my hop up by rolling their rotary style hop up up. Once I've got it set, I can test it. Go see how we did. Clearly represented here is how your spread grows as you move farther away from your target. Our real close up shots at 25 feet were nice and tight here at the center. And as we moved out to 50 and then 75 feet, the spread got a lot larger. Now, obviously, you can bring that grouping tighter by cleaning your barrel, something we can do, uh, as well as understanding that even at 75 or 100 feet, you're still within a body size target. Now, accuracy out of a platform that has this short a barrel is really good right out of the box. Let's go to the chrono test. In order to do our chrono test, I've swapped the BBs in the magazine out for 0.20 gram BBs. Uh, I've turned the hop up off so we get an accurate chrono result. We've got an Ace Tech AC6000 chronograph. Let's see what kind of uh, feet per second we're getting. Now, as you can see in the test, we're getting right about 25, 21 and a half rounds per second and in the neighborhood of 350 FPS. Now, because of the quick change spring, you can of course change that to your liking. The Crytac quick change spring makes that really, really easy to do. Now that we've seen the externals, the internals, we've gone out and shot this bad boy, I'm sure you guys have been wondering about the very sleek elephant in the room, and that is the Crytac Enhanced Magazine. This thing is awesome. Not only does it have a window to see your last 30 rounds, mm. but it also has a 150 round capacity, a bright orange follower. It takes down easily so that you can clean the channels out and replace the spring if need be, and future iterations of this magazine will have some additional functionality as well. Now this magazine is included with the Mark II PDWM as well as future releases from Crytek in the rest of their lineup. Yeah, we'll be phasing this in with our other models as it go along. Mm -hmm. Worry not though, if you purchase an existing Crytek that doesn't come with one, these are for sale here at evic.com, so you can always add these to your loadout. They feed beautifully, um, and we were running these in our evic performance shop builds mm -hmm. uh, past 30 rounds a second, and they were feeding incredibly well, even with like three twos. So uh, awesome magazines. Um, I'm really excited to start using these on the field. So if you want to find out more about not only this magazine, but this awesome uh, Crytek PDWM or Mark II PDWM from Crytek, check it out on our website at evic.com. Make sure you're following us on social media, uh, on our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, 
you're already here on YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, <laughs> and make sure you're following all of Crytac's social media, including uh, their Instagram and Facebook, where they regularly uh, promote uh, existing products and things in development that maybe we haven't even heard about yet. So make sure that you're subscribing to their stuff to find out the latest information on latest Crytac releases. See you guys later.